Hey guys, Kettle Claw here, and uh, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? So, we have to go to. Floor 2, I believe. At least I think, anyway. There's me here. Okay. Oh, there he is. Hey, Reen, what brings you here? Uh, hi, Nicholas. Um, I've got a quick question for you. Reen explained the situation and asked if Nicholas could have any passion leaves. Passion leaves, huh? Sorry, I've cooked them with them before, but I don't have any at the moment. Ah, oh, thanks anyway. Hmm, how else am I supposed to get those? You might not want to give up just yet though. What's that? I don't have any myself, but the cafeteria just might. You think so? I believe I saw them using passion leaves in one of their recent daily specials. It was one of the side dishes, so I'm not entirely sure, but if memory it definitely sticks out in my mind. I say chances are good that Rasme still has a few in hand, so we should try ask him. Ah, alright, thanks. Either way, you got you have keen eyes or a keen palate to have picked up on that though. I've always had a knack for picking things up on ingredients in a dish. Most of the time we can figure everything, every ingredient and the quantity used in a single bite. Whoa, that is impressive. Master Chef, here you come. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I know too, right? <laughs> it's nothing really. I just eat a lot. Okay, quick metabolism much? On that note, you should probably get towards the cafeteria. They'll be closing soon. Good idea. Thanks again. Alright then. Let's head to the cafeteria. Um, let's see. Uh... Through here. Ah, there you are. Okay, let's ask. Ramsey! What is it? Do you need something? You're not here to steal food, are you? No, of course not. Reen explains to Ramsey that he's been sent by Fred to look for some passion leaves. Ah, I see. So Fred needs some passion leaves, does he? I just so happen to have some right here. Really? Yep, they're all yours. Alright! Oh, wow. Thanks. And by the way, how much do I... Ah, no payment necessary. That should be enough to last him a couple of weeks. If he finds himself running short again, you can just ask. I have more. Oh, I'll be sure to pass, pass that on to him. Thank you again. I didn't expect him to give me those for free. He's not the most talkative person, but he sure seems like a nice guy. Alright. I'm done with that, y'all. So we need to go to... Uh, Cafe N. Where is it? There we go. And get this quest done. No way. You actually found him for me? I sure did. Here you go. Dun 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 dun! <laughs> I can't believe you actually got these. Really? Thanks so much. I gotta owe you one. Don't worry. I'm just happy to help. You got me a ton too. How much did uh, all of these run you? Nothing actually, I ended up getting them from the Academy's cafeteria. Reen told Fred about the discussion with Ramsey. Ah, I believe 
I'll be sure to go thank Ramsey next time I get a chance. I think he'd like that. But I can't forget to thank you either. Kind of flattering that you went to all this trouble just to get these for little old me. And now the customers won't be leaving hungry or disappointed. So here, take this. It's nothing special, but I'd like to have it. Crispy pizza? And I can have all of these? Of course, any of this would be criminal. Oh yeah, I meant to ask, you're not part of the student council, are you? Not exactly, but I help them out with their work from time to time. Why do you ask? Oh, it's just that they've helped everyone here in Trust out quite a bit over the years, us included. Seeing you try so hard kind of reminds me of their style, <laughs> that's all. Ah, so that's why they get to request everyone in town too. Yep, they're like our personal problem solvers if you must. It's probably a ton of work for them, but they think, but they think they all feel like it's worked, worth doing. I can vouch for that. Sorry about the first. I have it about the second. Well, it's about time for me to get going. Good luck with the rest of your work, eh? Okay? You too. You gotta to pull me out there. Hmm, okay. So apparently that's a secret uh, mission. Uh, side quest. So there's apparently a couple of these throughout the, the, the game. So, um, I will just save that. And uh, continue on. I don't think there's much else to do. All right, let's see what he's up to. Oh, that one happened to be a recipe book you've got there with it. It is. Someone gave it to me earlier. Why do you ask? Perfect. Just simply perfect. I've been. Conducting some food related research today, and it just so happens that I've been on the lookout for someone who can assist me with it. <coughs> what did you say? Research? It did indeed. It's related to geography, actually. I'm in the midst of gathering a variety, of, well, perhaps we should call them peculiar dishes. Ah, uh, dare I ask why? All over the world, the dishes people have cooked and the deep history behind it. I'm interested in the history hiding behind the cuisine that we might see as bizarre or unappetizing. But it's not fun to read about food. I want to sample the dishes. I research their history and purpose. Ah, that's certainly, um, unique. Oh please, there's no need for a flattery, Reen. Very well, consider the standing order coming straight from me if you happen to stumble into any new peculiar dishes. I'm looking forward to see what dishes you bring my way. Oh, you didn't even give me a chance to say no. How about that? Oh, I might as well help him out. Okay guys, I was just uh, mucking a bit off screen and I managed to come across that as well. Um, seems there's a lot of hidden stuff around here. So, uh, yeah. I'll be back with you in a wee while. Okay, let's head back to our dorm. Getting pretty late, so if I'm going to my room now, it'll be for night. Ah, I guess so. Any bond events will not have been triggered, will be no longer viewable. Okay!
What a long ass day. What a really long day. Ah, he's practicing. What's he gonna do? Hmm. Oh, that is awesome! Not bad. But I don't think I can manage much more than this. I guess I should just be grateful I was able to pass the beginner examination at all. Oh, don't say yourself short, dude. Better do some studying. It sounds like this is going to be a busy week. What with that ominous practical exam looming over us. Well, damn, that's right. Hmm. I do have that radio from George here. Must be 9 p.m. Let's get those tunes on, yo. We had that orbital radio back home, too. Never knew they made them this small, though. Let's that see. small? Which station is Radio Trista? Ah, there we go. It's 9 p.m. and you're listening to Radio Trista. Oh, nice. Welcome. Don't touch that dial, listeners. You found the right place to be tonight. It's time for the start of a brand new program here on Radio Trista, coming at you promptly every Sunday. Oh, okay. I call it Abend time after the word for evening. Might be a little cliched, but sometimes simple is best, right? Cliches are cliches for a reason, after all. Hmm, can't get enough anyway, of them. my name is Misty, and I'll be your host. Hopefully I'll get to feature some famous guests at some point, so be sure you tune in every week or you might miss them. Oh, you know, definitely. She's a pretty nice voice. This might be good to leave on in the background while I'm working. I hope life has been treating all of you well this month as we slowly near the end of April. Oh, so it really is April. Here in Trista, the beautiful Lino flowers have passed their peak and begun to wilt. But Aww. wilting flowers are beautiful in their own way, as they serve to remind us just how fleeting this existence truly is. Oh my god, existential shape. I'm sure many of our listeners are students, busy with the challenges of adjusting to their new lives. But what harm is there in taking a moment to admire nature every now and again? It's good for what ails you, I say. I kind of agree, actually. Ooh, 21st. Oh shit, practical exam. Okay, let's get your practical exam started, shall we? To be completely clear from the outset, this exam is about more than just testing your physical strength and stamina. Okay. It's designed to hone in on how capable you are of making strategic combat decisions on the fly. Defeating your opponent quickly is a good thing, certainly, but it won't be enough to score you high marks here. Huh. Interesting. So we're going to have to use our heads for this one, huh? <laughs> You'll see. Anyway, let's get this month's exam started, shall we? Ooh. Me, Elliot, Gaius, you're up first. Please step forward. Right. Uh oh. Got it. <laughs> they seem so pleased. Uh, you can make any preparations necessary for the beginning of the exam. Opening camp menu will allow you to customize the party equipment and as well as save your progress.
Um, Oh wow, so we've got Mistrial, Falco, Force, Cannon, Iron. Um... Okay, let's do that. <laughs> All right then. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, how did she do that? What's that? W where did it come from? No, I'm not sensing any life coming from it at all. Oh, a test dummy. Think of it like a scarecrow. Only it's a moving scarecrow, I guess. Either way, it's not alive. I've set its parameters fairly high, though, so it is formidable. But if you give it your all, I'm confident you can beat it. Probably. Make good use of your Arcus's combat mm, probably. Tools, for example, and I bet it'll be a piece of cake. Hint, hint. Oh, wow. <sighs> so that's what you're playing at. Oh, this music is awesome. This game is awesome. It's a fight they want. The fight they'll get. Meet the following. Oh god, meet the following conditions. No one is knocked out of battle. Go. Okay. We're gonna analyze the shit out of you first. It's my turn. Now. Right. Give it up, everyone. Let's go. Ha. Okay, so oh, it's pretty good at everything, right? Okay. Nice. Motivate. Let's do this. Got Leave it. it to me. It's my turn. They're open. Got it. My turn. Go. There. Let's go. My turn. Give it up, everyone. It's my turn. We're destroying it. Here we go. There. Nice. Right. Uh, All right.
Let's go. We're open. Go. Here we go. There. Go. Here. We are definitely winning this. Nice, one more. Oh, he got shaft. Okay. Oh, mess. Leave it to me. All right, take it down. Nice. We should hurry. That is acceptable. AP increased by one academic points, right? I don't know how though. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Excellent use of combat links too. Seems like the practice you got in the old schoolhouse really paid off. Mm, definitely. <laughs> it just may have. Oh? Have those three been training in secret? Oh. Uh -oh. Alright, on to the second group. Laura, Emma, Eusis. Come forward. How does that work out? There's nine. Three, three... Oh wow, three, yeah. Jesus Christ, I can't count. Ah. <sighs> that was tougher than I thought it would be. It does seem like combat links are the key to fighting it effectively, though. That's rather unfortunate. Instructor, may I ask a question? What exactly was that marionette we just fought? Yeah, that was kind of bugging me. <laughs> yeah, that thing was weird. A machine, maybe? I've never seen anything else like it. Um, just a little something I got roped into working with a while back. Okay. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to, but I can't deny it serves as a valuable function, and it's rather customizable too. That didn't really answer the question. It did its job quite well during our test, didn't it? So there you go. Okay, I'm beginning to see a pattern. Never answers questions, always sleeping and drinking, and shifting her responsibilities to others. What? I get the feeling there's a whole lot she'd rather not tell us. Oh mm, yeah, you anyway, need both. That brings this month's practical exam to an end. Nice. And as you might recall, I told you I had a big announcement for you today too. Are you all ready to hear what it is? No. I'll give you a hint. It's about a special part of Class Seven's curriculum. We get field experience. Give up? <laughs> it's really bugging you now, isn't it? Yeah, a little. I'll come clean. The special task you're about to be assigned is none other than. Dun 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 dun. dun. Study. Oh damn! I was right. Field study. Experience. Oh, I don't like the sound of this one bit. You'll be split into two groups, A and B, and each sent to a different location. Oh! And while you're there, you'll be given a number of tasks to complete. Doesn't that sound like fun? 
Um, what's your definition of fun? Uh, we only just got to the academy, and we're already being sent somewhere else? Will you not be coming with us, instructor? Oh, of course not! It'd be much too easy for you if I were there to bail you out every time the waters of life came seeping in. What? Cruel to be kind and all that. <sighs> okay. <sighs> well, I'm certainly not opposed to a challenge if it allows me to advance my training. If you say so. Instructor Valestine, where exactly will we be going, and when? Ah, oh, yes, about that. As I said, you'll be split into two groups, A and B. Okay, so... That's fine. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these to see how the groups have been divided and where each is being sent. Oh, so we don't pick them. Oh god, I hate drawing a hat. What? Let's see. In field study April. In group A, rain. Oh god. Halisa, Laura, Elliot. Study location Celtic, the market town. Group B, Emma, Marcus. Oh. oh, I wouldn't like to be group B. Bloody hell. That's going to be fun. And Pam, Parm, the Springtown. Well, these are certainly some interesting groupings. Oh, I see what she's done. She's mixed the groups up for the social stuff because she's trying to get everyone to bond together with the Arceus and the links. So making the people that don't work together work together might strengthen the bonds and the links and the Arceus and make us more efficient in combat. What a sly girl! Are they both in Erebonia? Yeah, Kildick's a market town on the east side of the Empire. And Parm is situated in the deep south. It's known for its spinners. It's All that what? How irritating. <sighs> I'm less worried about where we're going than the utter lack of sense that went into these groupings. Oh, bah humbug. Unbelievable. <laughs> You'll be week off lately. And we'll be out in the field for two days' time. Your means of reaching your respective locations will, of course, be by train. Oh, thank goodness. So do make sure you're thoroughly prepared, rested, and rearing to go before the big day. Hooray! Alright then. <laughs> huh? Your rank's gone up. Here's a little something from the academy. Uh... What is this? Do we get graded? Rank increase from rank B6. You received information as a perk? What the hell? Ah, uh, okay. Do we get this like every what? Thank you for everything! I still haven't been able to apologize to her. Still? That's more than a month, dude. Come, move your arse. We can't exactly avoid working with one another when we're in the same group. <sighs> I'm sure this is pretty Maybe I was on point. Too, so I really want to say something, but when am I going to get the chance? Ah. Uh...
speak of the devil. Morning, Alisa. Uh, morning. You're a <laughs> bless. We don't have to be here for another 20 minutes, you know. Oh, well, the same goes for you. Uh, what time did you wake up? Around five, I think. What? Well, I always try to be up by then. Oh, uh, really? Morning practice? Oh, you haven't joined any clubs, have you? So I guess not. How does she know that? No, it's just a force of habit. I've gotten used to waking up early. You're in the lacrosse club, right? So I'm guessing you do have to deal with morning practice sometimes. Yeah, twice a week, apparently. Oh, fantastic for her. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. Oh, finally. Why are you apologizing? <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly interesting. But no, I really am sorry. I knew it was just an unfortunate accident from the very beginning. I mean, I was on top of you. I just... I cut <laughs> my head, and before I knew it, I'd slapped you. And you had your hands out like you were trying to catch me, right? So if anything, I should be thanking you. Don't worry about it. That trapdoor was obviously designed so we wouldn't get hurt from the fall. Really? If I hadn't tried to play the hero, I wouldn't have been pinned under you, and none of this would have happened. Th there's no way you could have known that, though. No matter how you look at it, I'm the one in the wrong here. Oh my god, no, I have been the one in the wrong. I have been the wrong. So, thank you for trying to protect me. <laughs> sorry again. Oh, I only take more than one. No, it's. I, I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> well, that was easy. Sorry, I have trouble with these kinds of things. My little sister is always getting on my case for being so easily flustered. Oh yeah, that's right. He's got a sister. Yeah, I totally forgot. Yeah. Oh, you have a younger sister? Question for another time. I think I'm the same way. I've been trying to apologize for the past couple weeks now. Uh, month. Every time I set my mind to it, I always just wound up avoiding you. <laughs> really? You did try to help me out in class last week, though. Oh, you noticed. I was hoping that would give us a chance to talk. Though you didn't need my help in the end, so it didn't really do much good. I still appreciate the thought. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, anyway, we've safely established that what happened wasn't your fault, but the result of it is another issue entirely. Huh? Result? What are we talking about now? Oh, come on! You have to know what I mean! This is still in regards to the accident in the old schoolhouse, right? Yes! Specifically, the part where your face ended up right in my... Uh, <laughs> you know, and I forbid you from ever thinking about that, ever! Forget it ever happened! Uh, Are okay. we clear? It, yes, perfectly! Hi. Trying to avoid thinking about it is just going to make it harder to forget, though. I mean, what are you gonna do? Do you think of a pink elephant? Come on. Oh! Oh, good morning! Elliot! Laura! Good morning. A lovely day, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you two certainly got here early. Looks like you finally managed to make up, too. Uh, well... Were you spying on us? Yeah, I think we're on good terms now. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. It's been a bit trying watching the two of you simmer these past weeks. And I know Elisa has been desperate to apologize for her behavior this whole time. Oh, wow, she's gonna get whoa, kicked. Whoa, whoa! That's 
only because I thought it would be awkward for two people who aren't talking to work together in the same group. Don't go getting the wrong idea or anything. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as the two of you have smoothed things over, that's what's important. <laughs> now that we're all here, let's say we head out. The train's not due for a while longer, so this could be a good opportunity. We can swing by a few shops and stock up on supplies before heading to the station. Mmm, exactly what I thought. Uh, th that's a good idea, actually. The Academy's facilities are supposed to be open early today, too. Ooh! Oh, that's perfect. We can make use of the Engineering Club's facilities before we head out, too. Shall we depart, then? All rare quartz and accessories have been unequipped from either... Um, some other group members. Wow, I cannot talk today. Alright then, I guess that's that. Um, let's see what we've got then, I guess. Uh, what was that? We... Oh, we get more party members, right, okay. So he's all... Done that, okay. Um, yeah, so let's have a, have a little save, shall we? And let's see what we can do, I guess. Okay, so let's go. Hey, y'all. You're heading out for a fuel study today, aren't you? Feels pretty good to see you all hard at work. <laughs> I'm paying off finally. Huh? Oh, never mind. It's nothing important. What is important, though, is you make sure you're well prepared before we send you off. If you need me to take a look to Arceus, just ask. Until told us everything there is to know about your field study, most of the shops are all open earlier on these days are heading out now. <coughs> Take it as a way of saying thanks to the student council for your help. Make sure you're fully stocked and ready to roll before you head. Key pick store. See if there's anything at the radio station. I haven't been there. Oh, oh, there is. Right, okay. <sighs> Who's this? Why does the sun have to be so bright? Well, it is really early in the morning. Maybe I should go buy myself a coffee. Who is that? Wow, we are not just creeple. Steering her like that, are we? Guess she must work at the radio station. She looked dead on her feet. I think so. Hey, wait, was that the person who was doing the 9 p.m. thing? Radio Trista has some late night broadcasts, so she was probably up all night. Oh? I wouldn't have taken you for the radio listening type. Well, we just got one. Maybe I should tune in sometime too. No. I believe we've spent more than enough time here. As soon as we finished preparing, we should head to the station. Um, where are we? There we go. Let's just have a little save. Let's get on. Enter trust the station. Sure. Oh, there are the others. Hey guys, what's up? 
Ah, good morning, everyone. Are you all prepared to leave as well? Morning. Uh, hi. You're all good to go, then? Yes, Parn is quite a distance from here. We're not likely to arrive before evening. Jesus, that must be a long way. Hmm, considering its relative location, that seems to be an accurate estimate. I guess the southernmost town in Nebronia makes you realise just how big the Empire is. But... Mm. Mm. <laughs> they still at it, huh? They seem to have been going like this for the entire time. I'm afraid so. I think we may understand how deeply rooted their differences are. I'm sick of them already. Mm. If only there was a way to put to the side the differences as Raid and Al Alisa. Oh, now that you mention it, I guess we'll finally make up with them, huh? It's not like we're getting along that poorly. Besides, we have each other along enough to call to make up. That's good news, Reen. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Why does everyone keep making such a big deal out of it? Whoa! Passengers service bound for Himdlar now arriving on platform 2. We ask all customers utilize this, pa this service. Please wait on platform until the train has come to complete stop. Mm. Oh, there he goes. Time we should go. Wow. Okay, I don't want to see what they do in that group. Well, best... <laughs> they need best of luck. Totally with you, Reen. You're just hoping you don't need it, though. <laughs> Getting those two to work together sure doesn't seem like it's going to be an easy task. We'll do what we can. And good luck to you all. Please take care. It's our first field study. Let's show them what we're made of. <laughs> course. Later. I'm eager to see how they do. Jesus. Well, at least we've got a cohesive grip so far. A cohesive grip. Might not be the best, but at least everyone's talking to each other. I wonder if they'll be alright. Well, as long as Emma and Gaius are with them, things shouldn't get too out of hand. Now, Fee, on the other hand, I have absolutely no idea what to expect from her. She doesn't really seem like the type to cause a ruckus, at least. I'm concerned for them as well, but I believe we should be focusing on our own trials for now. You're right. Well, let's go buy our tickets. <laughs> no kidding! I've got an investor meeting and a social gathering to attend today, as I'm off to the hotel of Himmler right now. Ah, <sighs> what's a man supposed to do with a schedule like this? Seems like they're gonna be pretty busy. Right, let's get up. Welcome, you're students from class 7, right? Your destination today is Keldic. Yeah, that's right. I guess they're already waiting for us. I suspect in such instructor Sarah made considerable preparations on our behalf. Sure looks that way, not that I'm complaining. The train to Celtic will departing from platform one. It's not due yet, due yet, but you can buy your tickets in advance if you like and wait for its arrival. Oh, uh, I guess we really should buy tickets. I mean, we don't really have anything else, do we? Oh, okay. I'm very good. That's four passengers bound for Celtic. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Nice.
passengers service bound for cross bell I never actually got to read any of that so tada <laughs> never got to read any of that did I guess the train's here this is weird An interesting game. Right, Let's see what's journey bound from here. So we're going to Celtic, right? So market something. I need to check. Oh, nice relaxing music. Um, so it's about an hour to Celtic from here, right? I believe so. I had to change trains there when I originally came to Tresta. Oh, you're from Langrum, right? That would be in the direction of Breahard after changing at Celtic, right? That's correct. After which point it would be necessary to switch again to Breahard. It's situated in a very remote part of the country. <laughs> well, you could say the same for where I'm from too. As I understand it, that Celtic's most mostly known for its uh, merchant town, right? Yeah, it's been their source of tourism for some time now. Mostly thanks to its grand market. Kinda hard to go over what we know about the town before we get there. As Elliot stated, Celtic is a market town at its core. It's in the eastern province of... How do you say that? Uh... I don't know how you say that. Um... Oh, my English sucks. <laughs> that word. And it's been... Majority trading hub for a very long time now. It's also a major interchange station connecting to Himmler with Breahart and even Cross Bell. The area itself is known to have a large number of granaries. Though this has of course been overshadowed in recent years as the aforementioned Grand Market. Visually anything can be, virtually sorry, anything can be produced there from farm producers, jewels and brayhards thus to be imported goods from afar. That does sound awfully impressive. Hmm, I kind of looking forward to this now. It would be too if I knew where we actually have a chance to take in the site, but there's no telling what kind of crazy thing Instructor Sarah has planned for us. Yeah, no kidding. Ah, oh, spoil sport! <laughs> Elliot, <laughs> isn't that the truth? Yeah, it is. I can't even have a guess of what the field study might involve. Being a part of our curriculum though, it's safe to say that it won't be easy. No shit. If it, if it were, it would hardly be worth the trip. Personally, I'm looking forward to learning the true nature of our excursion. I suppose that's a good way of looking at it. I think it's the only way. Well, with our answer, we'll get there. We're supposed to drop by at the end as soon as we arrive. There should be an envelope waiting for us with details on our mission. Yeah, that's right. Still, this whole trip seems very, uh, eerie, well planned out. Don't you think? Even the station employees knew we were coming. That just goes to show you how high the Academy's expectations for all of you. Oof. Oh, hey! Whoa! I didn't expect you! I thought you weren't coming! Instructor. I was wondering 
<clears throat> why you were here? Why nowhere to be seen this morning? Looks like Group A is all present and accounted for. Good, good. I'm so relieved to see the two of you have finally managed to make up. You see that as if it's old news. Have you been spying on us this whole time? Uh, <laughs> so, um, what brings you here, Instructor? I thought you weren't planning on staying back at the Academy. Well, considering this is their first time out in the field, I assumed you'd be positively lost without me. What about the others? So, I decided to stick around at least until you've finished checking at the inn. Oh, well, thanks, I guess, but I think Group P would have used your help a little more. Would it not have been better for you to accompany the others? Oh, but they'd be a nightmare. Wow. 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 Talk about favoritism right there. I may still have to go to them though, if those two get out of control. But we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Oh, she totally doesn't want to. <laughs> she totally doesn't want to. <laughs> See? She knew full well that Eus and Machias wouldn't get along, but put them in the same group? Well, as I said earlier, it's a test to get the links working. Did I suspect as much, but it's so hard to believe she confirmed that it's uh, so non... whatever that is. God, my English is fucking terrible. Oh, just ignore all my crap swelling, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, don't pay attention to me. Feel free to keep talking. I didn't get any sleep last night, so I'm going to take a little nap right here. What? Uh. Okay. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, you kind of said it. I don't think she's ever seen someone less inclined to be an educator than her. Maybe we better just stop letting her sleep. Shouldn't be a problem to wake her when we go to Celtic though, should it? <laughs> you never know. Alisa. When I came to the academy, I never thought I'd find myself visiting the Grand Market of Celtic as part of my studies. I've read it before, but... And this will be my first time seeing the place in person. Oh, really? Well, field study or not, I guess it's still something to look forward to. Is there anything in particular you're hoping to see there? Hmm, the gems, the fires from Brayheart, maybe. They seem to be the highest quality goods purchased in Brayheart. Artists are sold at the Grand Market. That sounds like it would be worth seeing for sure, though somehow I doubt we'll be able to afford anything there. Still, if we get a chance, we should go check it out together while we're in town. That sounds like fun. Laura? I do wonder what precisely these field trips study will involve. I can't even fathom to guess. Likewise. We just part for me as they're divided between group A and B. Why would we split up and sent to different places? And the most bizarrely of all, why Machias and Eusus placed in the same group? It's like they're just asking for trouble. It does seem quite illogical. I can only assume there's a hidden purpose for these trips beyond what I've been told. Perhaps multiple purposes require multiple groups to be fulfilled. Yeah, that'd be my best guess too. There has to be something going on behind the scenes. Which is why I wanted to ask the instructor Sarah a few more questions, but well... Yeah. Dodging questions as ever. Did she even get hired? I don't think she's doing much answering. Perhaps she fell asleep deliberately to avoid... Yeah, no. I'm totally with you on that one, Laura. Our instructor is quite the formidable opponent. 
that's one way to describe her. I guess we're just going to have to work out the meaning of these fuel study trips on our own. Do you know, I I totally think it's to get the Arceus working and to get all of our links better. Because if we stay in our same groups, we'll never evolve any of the Arceus links to the other group. And what better way of doing that is to mix everyone up. I mean, she said it herself. The linking is the is the key in the what was it? The exam. So yeah. All right, let's have a. Oh wow, you can delete a save data. That's kind of cool. Go to that one, I guess. Right, let's talk to Elliot. Hey, almost forgot I had these. I just picked them up uh, on a whim just a little while ago. Ellie had a pack of... What? Blade cards? Oh, you have a pack too? I just got a set of my own for the pawn shop in Trista. Really? That's perfect then. How about you play a few hands and see... It seems... to kill some time before we arrive. Do you know the rules? Yeah, they're not complicated, so I don't think anyone here have any trouble picking it up. Sounds like a good way to pass the time to me. Indeed, it seems like it could be enjoyable diversion. Hmm, alright then, let's give it a try. When travelling by train, you can play the game Blade with other members in your group to strengthen your bonds with them. Only the first match with each character will increase your bond with that person, but this will occur whether you win or lose, right? Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Take it easy.